This week on The Wire, home builder inspires land sales, home selling faster than 2019, and banks cut rates for new customers. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's kick it off with our top story for this week, home builder inspires land sales. So new home sales rose a whopping 78% in June from a record low in May, says HIA Chief Economist Tim Reardon. The increase is attributed to the government's home builder program and all states have recorded enough lift, which in turn is driving construction and jobs growth. So first home buyers are snatching up vacant titled land, even blocks that have been sitting on the market for more than two years in a rush to get the home builder grant. That comes from agents and developers. Now Stockland Community's Chief Executive Andrew Whitson says there's been strong levels of inquiry since the announcement of the home builder stimulus. Whitson says at some of our communities we're seeing around three times the 2019 weekly average inquiry level. Across the country, Western Australia had the largest monthly increase in June compared to May 2020, rising by 211%. South Australia followed, increasing by 157%, Victoria 48%, Queensland 43%, New South Wales 13%. They all also increased significant, uh, recorded significant monthly increases. And now guys, for our next top story, home selling faster than 2019. So properties in Australia's biggest cities are selling faster than this time last year, despite the economic downturn from the pandemic. That's according to the latest data from Domain. In the first six months of 2019, the property market was hampered by tougher lending criteria and uncertainty surrounding the federal election. Even though the current economic outlook is uncertain, homes are selling faster now. With only serious buyers in the market now and few sellers, new listings are being snapped up quickly, Domain says. It took 69 days on average to sell a Sydney house in the June quarter, down from 87 days a year earlier. And that's coming from domain data. Melbourne houses are being sold in 59 days, down from 76, while units in the Victorian capital are selling in 67 days, down from 84. Houses on the Gold Coast are being offloaded in 98 days compared to 110 days a year, a year ago. Now, domain economist Trent Wilkshire says last year's market was even softer than expected because of the election while markets are currently doing better than many predicted right now. And now guys, for our final story of the week, banks cut rates for new customers. So banks are dropping their interest rates in fierce competition to win new customers. RateCity.com.au data shows that despite the reserve bank cash rate remaining at 0.25%, 19 lenders cut at least one variable home loan rate and 22 lenders cut at least one fixed home loan rate in the last month. Competition in the home loan market means an average borrower taking out a $400,000 home loan at the lowest two-year fixed rate today compared to a year ago would pay over $7,000 less in interest over a two-year fixed period. That comes from a Rate City statement. Sally Tindall, Research Director at Rate City, says it's been a record-busting month for mortgages uh, as lenders leapfrog each other in a bid to offer the lowest rate home loans. With refinancing on the rise, lenders have kept whittling down their rates if they want to, uh, to stay in contention for these borrowers. Data from the ABS shows the number of external refinances increased by 29% from April to May and rose 63% year on year. Well guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.